What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have the PlayStation 5 media remote. Do you really need one? What does this media remote even do? Why even get one if you have something like the DualSense wireless controller? Well, I'm here to answer that question. So keep watching and you will find out. In the box, it's really straightforward. You have AA batteries from Sony, instructions, and then the remote. My first impressions is the remote looks really, really nice. Uh, it's all white and black, which obviously it matches the PS5. You can't see it, but just like the remotes, it has the XO's squares and triangles right in the back. So there is that grip, just like the remote. When you lay it on flat surface, it does wobble, but is it really a big deal? Probably not. Would you face it down? It's the same thing really, but it wobbles more this way. What can the remote do? The point of the media remote is to conveniently navigate the entertainment system on the PS5 while also being able to control the TV. Sure, you could have the DualSense controller to do all this, but to press play, to, to navigate things, rewind and all that. For some people that could take a learning curve, but with something like this, you have the regular rewind, pause, fast forward buttons right at your fingertips and you could launch things at a click of a button. So again, it comes down to convenience. Another cool thing is the ability to control the TV and PS5 together. So if I click the power button, both the TV and the PS5 has been turned off. Obviously that means I could also turn it on by also just clicking the TV button and the PS5 and the TV should also turn on. This also does mean I could increase and decrease the volume. You can mute everything at a click of a button. Enter button in the middle. You have your directional buttons up, down, right, and left. And then you have the back button to go back to a previous menu. So say we clicked something here. Well, we could click back to return back to the menu and your regular rewind, pause, fast forward button and then your Disney, Netflix, Spotify, and YouTube buttons for faster click. So for example, I obviously have YouTube. I could click that and YouTube should open right at a click of a button. On the bottom here, this is not just a PlayStation logo. It's actually also a button. It acts almost identical to the button on the DualSense remote. And if you click it, you access the additional menu bar on the bottom here. One thing I really like about this remote is the microphone button. It essentially allows you to command certain settings with the PS5 or say, for example, you're in YouTube and you want to make a search, you can make a search from there uh, using the microphone. So if we click this, you should see a light show on top and we're going to look for, let's say, a Call of Duty game. Open Call of Duty game. You see, so and then you can look for other games and then you could just say number one. A cool feature, you could also do this within YouTube. Now, if you click this again, it's going to navigate towards the PS5. So what you'll need to do is come to search and you'll see the YouTube button here. So if you click this, Jacob Gago. And there it is, there goes my channel. Something to also mention regarding the volume up and down is it also can control your soundbar. So if you have a soundbar connected to your TV, this would also be able to control it. Now, what sucks about having a remote like this? Number one is I'm not a fan of batteries. So if we click this right here and then it opens, you can see it runs AA batteries. I would wish this was all powered by a USB cable rather than the whole battery. I'm not a fan of buying batteries. I don't think I put this in wrong, but I've seen other people have the same issue. It looks like it pokes up, but actually I think I did put it wrong. So hold on a second. Okay, so now it's snapped in. I'm sure you guys heard that. So you can see it still protrudes out a bit, right? So it's one of those things where it sucks that it's there. Another thing is I wish the buttons were really programmable. I'm not gonna be using Disney Plus. At least I don't have an account. I don't even have a Netflix account. Um, I do have more use of Netflix because I have people who have that. If they're over around, we could just click this and then log in. Spotify, I do have one. And then YouTube, I also 
obviously have one. So mainly these three buttons may be of use for me, really just the YouTube one because I'm more of an Apple Music. To be quite honest, maybe these would be better if it was all blank or maybe show one, two, three, four, and just remember the button functions. Something I really wish is I wish the remote also had backlighting. It's really hard to see it at night. So you do have to kind of point it towards the light and see, or maybe if you have your phone around, go ahead and, you know, put light over it, but that's the only way. I would say that there is little hinges on the top of certain buttons, so like the volume up button has one, and I believe also the play button on the bottom has one. Is that so much of a help in the dark? Probably not, but the point is at least those are there at night, but it would be a thousand times better if this could light up in the dark. The last thing I'm not really sure about is whether the remote should have been white. Yes, our controls for the DualSense is uh, white, but they do have a slight different texture. This one feels more like even if I had oily hands, I could wipe it off. This kind of makes me feel like it's a little bit less forgiving. Um, I did eat pasta a few days ago and I did smear it on it mistakenly. It did come off, so I don't see it right now. So I don't think cleaning would be an issue, but just be mindful when you're eating and using the remote. Obviously, remotes are easy to get dirty, but maybe it would have been nice if this was black and then the strip is white, I don't know. Or maybe there are skins out there. If they are, then I'll go ahead and get one. Do I recommend this remote? 100%. This remote is a must have. If you're gonna be consuming entertainment, on the PS5, you should definitely get one. It's definitely a no-brainer. Let me know in the comments below, do you think this is worth it? Would you get one? Or what do you wish this control had as the programmable buttons? Go ahead and let me know in the description below. And as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.